Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create a Digo group so that your students can share bookmarks with you and with each other. So I'm already logged into my Digo account, and I'm in the category called My Groups. And let's select Create a Group. And we'll call this one Mr. Burns Students. And it automatically has the URL assigned to it. And we'll just say that this is a group for students in Mr. Burns' social studies class. Please label your bookmarks with a note about why you are sharing it. Right. And now let's find a category for it. I'll put in education. We're going to make this a private group. Uh, we are going to list this in the search results just so that my students, if they can't remember the, the link up here, they can search for it and they can ask to join the group. And I'll have them apply to join. And we can have all group members invite others, which will be helpful when you're trying to get all of your students in. The students can help each other out by inviting each other. I'll prove I'm a human here and create the group. Great. And so now I can go into the group. I can also invite people. Let's go into my group and we'll see I have nothing in the group yet. Let's go ahead and add a bookmark. Perhaps we're going to add something from, uh, from an iPad website. And I'll just put in that link and we'll say bookmark put in the link and I'm going to have students as I mentioned in the description to label the bookmarks with a note and I'm going to say the students can set, can write in check here for recommendations on iPad apps and we can even tag it if we want to. And the tags will be helpful for students once you have a lot of bookmarks in there and they can search and I would recommend setting up a set of tags that you want students to use uh, if you're teaching social studies you might label it with various uh, units from history if you're teaching math you might label it with various uh, units that you're teaching in math and so forth so forth so that's how you can create a Digo group and for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.